fairway woods versus irons. Is there much of a difference at impact and what kind of attack angle do we want with a fairway wood versus an iron? Couple important distinctions. Number one, because of the length and the lie of the club, these clubs are designed to enter the space of the ground slightly differently. About 450 years ago, some Scott figured out that the more loft you put on a golf club, the shorter and more upright the club can be. When a club is more upright, that allows it to swing downward a lot easier. So there'll be a little more of a abrupt angle coming into the ground. As the golf clubs get longer, they inherently get a little flatter also, meaning they sit at a shallower angle to the ground. Your driver would be the longest, flattest club in your bag. The wedge, in this case it's a seven iron, but you can see as the wedge, as I get shorter and shorter clubs, they're gonna get a little more upright. So with a fairway wood, we wanna make sure that that club isn't coming down at too sharp of an angle. Kind of a simple way to think about this, if I uh, took my setup and I lifted the club about six inches off the ground and I kept the club six inches off the ground, well, there's a golf club that's going in so shallow that it's never really scratching or touching the runway. We've got to create a couple angles using our body and or our arms so that that club comes into the ground, basically does a little skim and go, or think of an airplane coming in doing a touch and go. I tell people frequently that before they ever hit a shot, they should hear the result before it occurs. Meaning, I've got a reasonable lie here in my rehearsal motion. I wanna hear the club skim the grass. Ball position for a fairway wood is gonna be slightly forward. I know that at impact, I also want my hands forward. We said with the driver, that's gonna be the most amount of tilt to the, to the back side, or for a right-handed golfer to the right, most of my amount of side tilt, so that with a driver high up on a tee, I can actually be swinging up. Well, in the case of a fairway wood, I need that club to hit the ground. So I won't have as much tilt to the right, I will have some, but I need enough so that I can scrape or skim the ground. I should see a few blades of grass just get plucked right off the ground. Ball position forward. For a driver, I've said in the past, take your trail hand, touch the outside rear of your trail knee. That's gonna preset how much tilt you actually need. With a fairway wood, I might just touch the side of my right knee. That'll only give me a tiny bit of tilt. From there, we're gonna make a turn and a turn. Looking for a little bit of scrape just slightly after the ball. Don't need too much of a divot. I've created a reasonable lie. From a setup standpoint, one of the procedures I like to employ, I might put my feet together, set the club down, Move my left foot slightly, move my right foot more. Now I can really gauge where my ball position is. I personally like seeing, I like taking a little rehearsal backswing so I can sense what the first move of my golf swing is gonna be like. And it's go time. I hope this video helped. Again, fairway woods for most golfers are very important. That allows us to get near those long par fours in two shots and those, that's how we save the most number of pars. I'm not looking per se to hit the green with this. I wanna hit it solid enough so that I can get the ball close enough to the green, make my chip and putt, and make my score. Hit the subscribe button down below and then click the bell notification. You'll get notices each time we make more content. Please leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thank you for watching.